Hey everybody, it's Joanne from Artsy Light Tarot. Thanks for checking out this message. I'm going to be doing a reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm going to start out with an oracle to get the energy of the reading. Then I'm going to pull some cards on your energy as well as the person that you're energetically connecting to at this time. So guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, protect my vibration at the highest as I channel a message for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you're returning subscriber to my channel, thank you so much. I appreciate you. And if you've yet to do so, please consider. So work through your fears, Aries. New moon in Scorpio. Okay, so that is the energy of the room, of the room, <laughs> of the reading. Work through your fears. Okay, I'll see what that says in the book. Okay, so new moon in Scorpio. This card suggests a rebirth. Think of your situation as the phoenix that's rising from the ashes as the birth, death, rebirth paradigm. That's what Scorpio energy is all about. Whatever you've been through, there's a new start ahead. It might be a little dark. It almost certainly won't be rainbows and unicorns, but it will be deep and transforming. This card, Aries, also suggests that if you know you are magical, then this is the time to work your magic. It can also herald the start of a sexier time. If you've been experiencing something of a drought and emotional intimacy is also on the menu. Scorpio is the sign that likes to go deep into body, mind, and spirit. So when this card comes up, there's nothing superficial about what's coming your way, Aries. Attune to the moon and have some sexy time. Ooh, Aries. Looks like some love is on the horizon. At least some intimacy for sure. Okay, I'm going to now pull five cards. To clarify the energy, I, the first card will be your energy. The second card will be the person that you're energetically connecting with. The third card will be the energy of the relationship. Fourth card will be the advice from spirit. And the fifth card will be the outcome. So guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, please give me a clear message for the Aries Collective. Give me the first card, Spirit. So this will be your energy, Aries. And Knight of Pentacles. So looking to invest in things that are tangible, things that are worthy. So the Knight of Pentacles, that represents Capricorn energy. It's a very solid, grounded energy. You are in a place of protecting as well as growing your legacy and your stability at this time. There is no bullshit in your energy at this time, Aries. You are standing very strong with a mission and you are moving towards that and covering your ass as you do so. Okay, so that's your energy. And then bottom of the deck, we've got six of wands, ten of cups. Oof. So I feel that you are now getting grounded in some type of a stability after having a situation that was very chaotic in regards to a home life, in regards to a family situation. Whatever your Ten of Cups is, Aries, that was completely devastated and destroyed. This connection here that was very chaotic and caused you a lot of emotional grief it was a connection where you felt you were unseen. You feel that there is no justice in this past person that you have released this person that you had a lot of commitment to. This was a soul uh, soul connection as well as possibly a marriage. Certainly someone that you put a lot of investment in. Someone that you possibly, like I said, had a family with. Pos possibly impacted children. Okay, so that is the energy that you are disconnecting from. Seeing that there is no victory in this past connection releasing the illusion that you were once in as um as a result of this person this connection and there you are two of wands aries energy so taking a new path so that is going to be a good investment aries taking this new path okay so i'm going to pull the person's energy that's on your mind at this time aries Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, please show me the energy of the person that's energetically connecting to Aries. The person that's on Aries' mind. Please show me the energy of the person that is energetically connecting to Aries. The 
the hangman in the reverse. So it could be a Pisces energy, someone that is not wanting to see things from a different vantage. Someone's very stuck in seeing things in their own way. Someone that needs to become enlightened. So the hangman in the reverse is about taking the time and action to see things in a way that's going to bring you enlightenment. This person that's energetically connected to you, Aries, is in the reverse. So very stuck in the way that they see things. I'm also picking up a very immature energy from this card at this time. And then anchoring this energy is two of swords in the reverse. So uh, eight of wands in the reverse. So what are we getting here? So a lot of swords energy, a lot of a person who's very in their head. Two of swords is Libra energy. So in the reverse, indicating that there's lack of justice in the decisions that this person that you have released has made. You are not in communication with this person. Eight of wands, Sagittarius energy. Seven of wands. So you, so you block this person and now you have no communication with this person. I feel that that has been the situation for a period of time. You had to defend yourself by setting up boundaries and not communicating communicating with this person. This is a choice that you have made. And this has um, been a result of feeling like you were put in a place of injustice from someone that comes from a place of mental manipulation. King of Swords energy, this hangman in the reverse, again, could be a Pisces, could also be an air sign. Um, the king represents Libra. So Libra on both ends, certainly, and both Libra energies are in the reverse. So this is a very unjust person. This is someone who is emotionally, mentally manipulated of someone that plays games you've blocked this person you are no longer in communication with this person and that is the decision that you have made to protect yourself so this is the energy that you're connecting with or whom is energetically connected to you Aries so now I'm going to pull the energy of the connection so guardian angels archangels spirit guides please show me the energy between these two people show me the relationship between these two people show me the energy so no expectations so three of wands that is your sign Aries that is your energy so it's an indication that it caused you nothing but upheaval this relationship was not equal give and take you have no expectations towards this person that you know is needing to to sit in the dark night of the soul needs to become enlightened, needs to sacrifice their ego. You know that about this person. So you are no longer investing in this person. You are investing in a different direction. So the relationship is coming up very much as your energy Aries. So it's your reading. So that just makes sense to me, but you no longer have expectations for this person. You've changed your route. You've changed your path, right? You're now sitting in queen of wands, energy, Leo energy after releasing this person who plays games and is emotionally manipulative again. So 10 of, we had 10 of cups in the reverse and now we've got the four of wands in the reverse. So that is also your energy and indicates again, uh, clarification for the 10 of cups in reverse. So definitely caused an upheaval in a, in a home, in a family situation, in a connection that, uh, where there should have been victory, where there should have been celebration, there was not. But now you are standing in your full authority, not being afraid, not hiding anything at this time, Aries. So Queen of Wands, Leo energy, like I said, not, re not going back, not celebrating with this person from the past who made you... Who put you in a position where you had to be very brave and very strong. So that's the relationship that's showing up as well as the world. So an end of cycle. Okay, so I'm going to pull advice. I think it's going to be very clear what Spirit is going to say for advice in regards to this connection that you have released. Where there is no expectation because this person is lacking any enlightenment. This person's very low vibrational Aries. Okay, Spirit, give me some advice for the Aries Collective. So we've got two of swords, like I said, Libra energy, having to make a choice about a king of cups in the reverse, so heavy Pisces. So I feel you've released a Pisces, could be someone that you had a, a lot of emotion towards, right? Water signs, so king of cups in the reverse, someone who was not only mentally, so we had the king of cups and the king of swords come up for this energy. That's an indication of someone who plays mind games and who is not 
uh, who's very good at manipulating through emotion, right? So you had to make a choice to release this person. So the advice that Spirit is telling you is that you made the right choice in regards to releasing this King of Cups in the reverse, this person who is incapable of loving in a way that is healthy or positive or in a way that you deserve, Aries. I feel that, okay? And then I'm going to pull a last card now for the likely energy or the likely outcome of this connection spirit. Show me what the outcome will be to, between these, this connection. Show me the outcome between these two people. Show me the outcome, spirit. This person, this king of wands, this narcissist that you have released, Aries, is right now in an energy of lack. This person has possibly been kicked to the kicked to the curb. This person is experiencing their karma. So what will the outcome be between these two? Thank you, spirit. There is a new opportunity. There is a lot of new opportunities. Aries, I feel that you are a pioneer. You are onto something. You are mastering something. You are investing in yourself. You're transmuting the energy that was left over from this connection because this person is not releasing you, but you have released them. So you are now looking to invest in, in yourself and in your legacy. Very beautiful energy in releasing this person. You have uh, infinite possibilities that are very stable and, and long-term that will leave you financially and your family very financially well off, possibly being the first of in your, in your family to do something. We've got ace of pentacles and 10. So that's an indication of a, of a start of a very prosperous journey. And 10 is ultimate destination. Very beautiful outcome here for you, Aries. Very nice. All right, I'm just going to, I'm not, I'm just going to, okay, no, I'm going to pull a final Oracle message for you. Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, please give a parting message for the Aries collective, sun, moon, rising, Venus. What is the parting message for Aries spirit? Family. I feel that you released someone that was once part of your family and now you are embracing your family on your own terms and recognizing that you are capable of having it all. You're definitely capable of having it all and whatever that is to you, to each and every one of you watching this video, however this resonates, whatever makes you feel like family, that is your outcome. That is definitely what is around the bend for you, Aries? Just a really beautiful energy. Very proud of you. Thank you so much. If you got to the end of this video, please like, subscribe, comment. Peace, everybody. Chat soon. Bye.